Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm going to show you how to do today is to make your own hearing aid desiccant dryer system. They sell for about 10 to 20 bucks on Amazon or eBay, uh, but you can make it yourself and save 10 to 20 bucks. It's pretty easy. This is a uh, jar from one of my wife's uh, face treatment uh, products. Uh, it's, it's a good strong plastic. I could drop it. It's got a good seal. Wouldn't break. These are desiccant packs that come in a lot of the products that you buy every day and you usually throw them away but you can recycle them this way and make your own uh, hearing aid dryer. Just clean it out good. Drop these in the bottom. And the one thing that you have to fabricate, I like to make a separation in between the desiccants and the hearing aids. Just because you don't know where these have been. They're not guaranteed to be uh, necessarily uh, sanitary. Uh, so just put a separator in. So what I did is I took some yogurt containers and I'm going to cut out a circle and I'm going to put it on top of the desiccant and then the hearing aids will go on top of that. So let me cut this out. Well, I'll do it on camera. That's okay. First thing I want to do is just cut the bottom off. take some scissors and make another cut. I've already drawn a circle that's equal to the circumference or diameter of that hole that it's going in. Yeah, I might have to recut this. I'm thinking it'll probably be a little big on the first try, but we'll see. It's not a perfect circle, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and see that doesn't fit. And um, this is a little sticky, so I'm going to wash it before I go and dry it out before I go any further. Okay, I'm back. That's a little better. And now I'm going to start trimming it down until it fits in there. Yeah, I got a little shadow that's giving me trouble. With my cuts. Yeah, we're going to go quite a bit more. Okay. So I'm just going to follow this around where there's a, an indent. We might be getting there. That's a pretty even Yeah, almost there. A little bit more.
Yeah. One more time. I want it to have a little bit of... I want it to stay in there pretty good. But I want it to lay level too. That's it. Now one more thing that I have to do is I have to cut some holes in this. The separator there. So that the desiccants can suck the moisture off of the hearing aids overnight. So I've got to put some holes in this. Uh, I'm going to pause a second. I'll be back. This is a, a hole punch like you would use to do leather. Um, you know, put an extra hole in your belt if you lost weight. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing, but you'll get the idea. I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, there you go. Now, if you wanted to, you could put some dates on these when you uh, when you put them in service, and then you can throw them out and put some new ones in once in a while when you get new ones. You could probably hold, you know, five or six or ten, even maybe, of those desiccant packs. Put your barrier in like that, and then uh, your tools, your hearing aids, seal it up overnight. So, you know, Froggy's just trying to show you a way to save some money, and I like making things myself. So that's cost zero, or you can pay 10 to 20 bucks and get one that has somebody's name on it. Basically it's going to be the same thing. This might even be higher quality. I wouldn't go with a glass one because it could break if you drop it. Uh, so th there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Make one for yourself if you want to. Uh, I just do these little projects to uh, show people how to do things. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up or a like. If you want to see more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. I'll see you later guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye.